Hey there, welcome to another radio video for the ICOM uh, ICR20 communications receiver. Uh, this is on the uh, display light and uh, actually the display light can be uh, programmed for three types of modes. Um, one is always on, one is on for only a few seconds and the other one is always off. Now, the uh, display of the ICOM ICR20 is very beautiful and the uh, light, actually the, the light that will uh, light up the display is very, very good actually. It's one of the really, really good, um, I would say the, one of the really good lights for displays that I've seen on scanners uh, or on communications receivers. Um, but there are some reasons you can you know when it's dark it's often fun to have the uh, light on all the time but when it's uh, daytime you might not want to have the um, light on all the time or maybe you just want the lights to be on when you do some key press or when you change frequency or when you do something with the radio but not having it on all the time uh, one of the drawbacks of having it on all the time is if you're using the batteries. Uh, yes, using the display light being switched on all the time will actually um, draw some electricity from your batteries. So what happens is your battery will not last as long. So um, and in the daytime, you know, if you're outdoors doing some scanning, display light is almost invisible you don't really need it anyways because you really can read uh, the display very well so in the daytime you might want to turn it off also um, a compromise that I've used most of the time is uh, having it on only when I play with the buttons or play with the scanner itself and it turns off automatically by itself and that's a nice compromise if you don't want to play too much in the menus and you just want to have a compromise uh, well it's nice to know that you can have the automatic light come on when you press a key or you use the dial buttons at the top but it will shut off also automatically so where do you set these uh, three settings that's always on on when you use the scanner with the buttons and off all the time well you go into the setup menu just press and hold the number 8 key and there you have in the display uh, backlight so with your right dial button you just simply put the little arrow next to backlight and you do a quick press on the number 8 key there you have off on and automatic so off is off it's really off on is on all the time automatic means that for example if I press set to choose and I'll go back to the frequency and leave the scanner right here you will see that after a few seconds the display does turn on but if I press a button or if I use the right dial to change the frequency or volume you can see that actually it turns on so this is a nice feature because it if you're on batteries it will extend the life of your batteries and what's cool is that every time you need to change a frequency or um, change the volume or just use a feature well it turns on and stays on as long as you are playing with the buttons and so that is uh, nice especially at night time sometimes you might want it to be off to keep the batteries uh, from draining too much but you still want to see what you're doing when you're pressing the keys for example so automatic is a great 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 uh, way so whatever setting you prefer uh, don't worry if it's uh, on all the time uh, this is a LED um, an LED light that actually gives a greenish uh, light to the display they are virtually um, unburnable if you can say they actually will probably light up for all the life of the scanner it's not a little light bulb that can burn out 
Um, at most it might be slightly less um, luminous after a few years of use but I wouldn't really worry too much about that so even if you leave it on all the time it's quite right so this was this uh, quick little video on showing you how to uh, actually change the light settings on your display and so you of course have on all the time, off all the time or just automatic when you touch a button or uh, try to uh, do a frequency change it will light up and then uh, close down automatically so I hope you enjoyed these videos if you do click the subscribe button and you'll be informed of all the new videos we put online if you have any comments or questions let us know there are no stupid questions especially with these little radios they're so complicated and of course uh, hope you uh, come back and watch all the other videos on the ICOM R8500 and R20 channel thanks for watching 73's